All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I got asked a question by a subscriber today. They sent me this photo of Arnold, and they asked me what the name of this pose was and why we don't really see it as much today in bodybuilding. Um, so the name of this pose is the Mantis pose. So I thought this would be a good topic for a video, and I'll probably do several more videos on forgotten classic bodybuilding poses like this pose. So there's a couple different variations of this pose where you can hit it a few different ways by turning your wrist or altering the way that your arms are positioned. Um, but I'm sure most of you guys can tell why it's called the mantis pose because it closely resembles a praying mantis, um, just the way that the arms are out in front of the body like that. And often the way that the wrists are positioned just kind of have that praying mantis look. Um, but oftentimes Arnold Schwarzenegger would hit it in a, in a different fashion with the wrist angle differently. Um, so this is a pose, like I said, you don't really see this too much today um, because it takes a pretty impressive bodybuilder to be able to pull out this pose. So to pull off the mantis pose, you basically have to be very arm dominant or have very, very impressive arms to pull off the pose because it's really... Because it's basically a pose designed to show off your arms. So there's very few bodybuilders today that can hit it off successfully. And another reason for that is you have to really have the, you know, the visual, artistic visualization um, to pull off that pose and know that it's going to look right. Some people can try to hit it. It's not going to look nearly the same as when Arnold hit it because he knew how he wanted it to look. So one of the guys that hits a very good pose um, of the Mantis pose is Kai Green. So Kai Green was known for hitting this pose um, on multiple occasions. I believe he pulled it off very, very well. Obviously, Kai Green is known for having some very freaky bicep development, um, and he's a very artistic poser. Um, so his Mantis pose was pretty impressive. So another current IFBB pro that pulls off the Mantis pose very well is Rolly Winkler. Now, obviously, this is no surprise that Rolly Winkler has some of the best arms in pro bodybuilding today. He's not as artistic of a poser as Kai Green, but he doesn't really need to be because his arms are so damn impressive um, that he can pull off that Mantis pose pretty much any way he likes to. Um, and he does it a little bit differently than Arnold because he shows off his triceps a little bit more than Arnold did in his pose. Arnold was obviously very bicep dominant, so he tried to tailor that pose specifically to showing off his biceps. Um, but Roly typically, he'll flex one bicep with one arm and the other arm, he'll make a point to try to lock out that tricep and almost hit a variation of a side tricep when he hits the Mantis pose. So a lot of people, including myself, talk about wanting to see more of these classic bodybuilding poses come back. But honestly, the Mantis pose is not one of those poses. I think the Mantis pose, you know, it really takes a special kind of bodybuilder to pull off that pose. And if we had every bodybuilder trying to hit the Mantis pose, it probably wouldn't look as impressive because a lot of these guys don't have the arms or don't have the, you know, the posing ability to pull it off in the way that Arnold, Kai Green, or Rolly Winkler did. So I think the Mantis pose should stay the way it is. And only people with the impressive enough arms to hit it should be hitting it. So I hope that answered your questions, guys. That is the Mantis pose. I plan on doing more videos on this about forgotten bodybuilding poses from the classic era. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this topic. Thank you guys for watching the video. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.